Welcome back. Over the past few weeks, I've added five support frames to strengthen and stiffen up the strong back. In this video, I'll be permanently bonding the transom and all 13 frames to the stringers. I start at the back of the boat with frames 12, 13, and the transom. Within the stringer notches, I wet the end grain with unthickened epoxy. This includes the end grain of the plywood bulkheads. I also add thickened epoxy to the frame where it will fit into the stringer notch. And I drop the frames into the stringers. With the laser level in place to mark the center of the transom and the water lines from below. I make sure that the transom is properly positioned on the strong back. To ensure the frames are center onto the strong back, I dry fit the keel into the keel slots. In addition to the water line, I adjust the height of the frames using a level across frames 10 through 13 because they're all supposed to be level. At this point, I'm measuring just about anything I can think to measure to make sure that the boat is being built according to the digital plan set. And I finish frames 12 and 13 by filling any available gaps with additional thickened epoxy. And of course, cleaning up the excess. On a different day, I repeat the process for frames 10 and 11. and I reattach the strong back legs at the proper height. Thank you. 
And just like that, frames 10 through 13 are bonded and perfectly level. Moving on to frame 9. So I'll explain what I'm doing here. Frames 10 through 13 are all supposed to be perfectly level. And the same is true of frame 9 on an angle. And I'm really close on this side and I'm low on that side. So I'm trying to decide how I'm going to manage this. Okay, so what I've done here is simply lifted the frame up to touch. I was able to pull the bulkhead up just a little bit, lifted the frame up to touch, and I think I'm gonna be in good shape. So it's not perfect, but understand that the very back of the boat is parallel. It's starting to curve here. So we're getting right to this curvature part where it's gonna be more important, less about the level and more about making sure it's fair. So I'm gonna go ahead and bond this one I'll have a little thick gap on this side and a good fit on this side. So we'll go from there. So this is my own doing. I'm mixing different thicknesses or different viscosities of the filler because the thinner stuff seems to go into the groove pretty well. But then the problem is later on it all squeezes out. So I'm starting with like a thin, like this, I'll call it thickened epoxy with a high density filler. But I'm just gonna put enough on just to get a nice thick coat in here. But I got a big gap I gotta fill. So then I'm gonna make some really thick epoxy to fill the gap. But right now I'm just trying to coat the surfaces. Nice and evenly coated. First I did unfilled. Now I'll call this my modestly filled epoxy. I want to get it thick and coated on here too, so let this have a good thick coat. In hindsight, one thing I need to do is I actually need to bond this frame to the bulkhead. And this is my first time bonding a frame to a bulkhead. So I'm going to coat this too. So I decided to try out this Dan Lee idea of putting some of my Sapili sawdust in here just to blend it in so it wouldn't be so obvious white like I have here. So remember, this is all still the engine compartment. So that's why I'm starting here. It doesn't have to look beautiful. I want it to be much better in the passenger compartment. So let's just experiment with some of this. So this is just a much thicker epoxy that I've put together here with the goal that it will really fill the gap. I've got some big gaps here. I'm not the best woodworker in the world for that. I'm not the best YouTuber in the world either. I like to put these uh, these keels in here just to make sure I got things pretty straight. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna try to put everything together and then fill the gap afterwards. So that's my goal now to put the silicon bronze screws in, get everything aligned and then fill this gap more with thick in the box. Now, I have a huge gap here. That's, that's the kind of carpentry you don't see in other boat building shows.
To ensure that I have a tight fit between the frame and the bulkhead, I'm using a combination of clamps and silicon bronze screws. Moving on to frame 7 and 8. Notice I got smart and decided to only ruin one pair of clothes when working with epoxy. In Temptress Build 36, I had to remove the cross members before putting the frames on the stringers. Now I'm reinstalling them. Bonding frames 5 and 6 was pretty straightforward. The reason I bond two frames at a time is because I have just enough clamps for two frames. Yeah, don't say it. I have the perfect number of clamps.
and we will finally finish up with frames three and four. One final check to make sure the frames are fair. And we've completed bonding all the frames and the transom to the stringers. Till next time, cheers. <laughs>